Hey folks, this is interesting. I hope you're well. I figured it's probably a good idea to, to be able to actually see people these days because a lot of us are, uh, well, self-quarantining and whatnot. So hi, I'm a people. On the plus side, there's not much stopping us from running Ludum Dare. That's uh, coming up in four weeks. Today's Friday, so four weeks from today. And uh, yeah, come on out, make a game, have a good time. I've been getting some emails from folks suggesting that we should ban certain subjects from the event and uh, or, or encourage other subjects. But I kind of feel like we do a good job of self-regulating these things. So at least for now, everything is going to be as usual. You know, submit your suggestions. We'll do our typical voting process and uh, go from there. Like, I trust the community will, will find the best choice, all things considered. Yes, and chances are you'll still hate the theme no matter what. GDC just happened, kind of. Usually this time of year, a lot of us would be getting together in San Francisco, hanging out, chatting, good times. Alas, I don't really need to explain to you what's been going on. On the plus side though, they live streamed a number of GDC talks. And uh, one I have to recommend, uh, Owen Goss. He did a great talk on their game Future Grind and how it kind of ballooned into, well, taking four and a half years instead of maybe two. Sadly, something that hits a bit too close to home. Yeah. We also got the specs for the new Xbox and the PlayStation 5, which is great, but, um, <laughs> but I think some of us might be more concerned with the cost. Not that Microsoft has a better CPU and GPU or Sony has way better IO. Yeah. Other fun stuff. Uh, Vulkan and DirectX 12 now have uh, ray tracing APIs, which is super cool. That's uh, definitely something I would love to dive into someday, programming wise. But um, I'm not sure, you know, the graphics curves that you need to actually do these things. I don't know, they're kind of pricey. And uh, yes, I, I will admit, I'm, I'm thinking a lot more about money these days. Yeah. Finally, the show is rescheduled for August. Sure. You know, if if things clear up and we can have a GDC in August, that would be amazing. But uh, given that the Canadian-US border closes tonight at midnight, I'm not super optimistic. But you know what? If it happens, that'll be amazing. As for personal projects, I've been actually playing a lot with video like this. Uh, back in December, I uh, released a couple videos, one of a uh, uh, an event near Toronto that I visited, this uh, called the World of Commodore. I've never documented anything like that before, but uh, I thought it was good practice just to wander around, capture some footage, see what I ended up with. Before that, I did a short film with my nieces. I kind of set up my Commodore 64 at my brother's place, let them play with it, and I just kind of hovered around with a camera and uh, cut together something that seemed kind of Christmassy and festive and uh, you know, very, very nerdy. Did some family videos, and more recently, I helped my friend Derek uh, make a Kickstarter video for his art book. Um, that went live a few weeks ago, definitely check that out. And I've been trying to figure this out too. I wanted to start doing some videos on games business, but around an actual game being developed. I still wanna do that, but I've been kind of struggling to figure out what's the right way for me to present this. Like, I'm not a really serious hardcore business guy. I'm just someone that ran a games business and failed horribly at it. And I think it's interesting, that perspective. That's something I'd like to work on, but uh, I find myself somewhat short on funds these days. So I've been uh, doing the old job application thing. And let me tell you, it's a little unusual to be looking for work given all the things going on these days. Recently, I picked up a tiny CRT monitor, uh, a PVM. It's been super interesting. Back in the day when I was working on PlayStation and Game Boy games, I didn't have a PVM. I just had some cheap like CRT TV we stole from somewhere in the office. And uh, it's been fascinating, it's been super cool to see, wow, look at all these fancy TV features and stuff that 
I wish I had 20 years ago. And I've just been kind of geeking out about that. So part of me is like, hey, I should make a video about that too. Which in turn led to me bringing my PlayStation out of storage and remembering that, oh right, I worked on shovelware games back in the day. Long story short, there's a bunch of old stuff that I'd love to dive back into. And video gives me an excuse to do that. Like this. This is some sort of mod device for an original PlayStation. Uh, I started drafting a GDST style talk on uh, the shovelware games I used to work on. But I don't have the disc handy, so I wanted something like this so I could actually show it on real hardware. Now, yes, you could use an emulator, but no, let's go authentic. I did a long play of a Commodore 64 game called Neuromancer based on William Gibson's book some years ago. And uh, I've been meaning to go back and redo it since I never actually finished the, the full long play. There's a goofy internet event called Commodore 64 Month, which I believe is August. And I keep meaning to make this happen during the month of August. I've since read the books or listened to the books that William Gibson wrote so I can finally correlate the things that they used in the game. I found this Hyperkin Atari gamepad some time ago, and uh, I think it'd be a great way to, to play an old game. The old Atari joysticks are just gross. I love the aesthetics of a joystick, but functionally speaking, gamepads, please. That's kind of where my head's been at lately, wanting to videoify just a bunch of stuff that I enjoy. And just because I'm not doing enough things, uh, I've started studying to get my uh, ham radio license. Um, because why not? Uh, ultimately, it was my research into the CRT monitor that I owned that made me realize that, oh, television standards are interesting. Hey, wait a minute, what's this? Oh, that's an RF signal. Ooh. So, long story short, Mike needs to understand radio so that he can fully understand this silly little TV that he bought. Because he has to understand it. He's Mike. And uh, this is Goose. Um, it's a uh, sourdough starter that I started a few days ago. And uh, whew, oof, it's, uh, it's quite pungent, so it's time to feed it. Anyway, that's how I've been keeping busy. Let me know if I should do more of these. Thanks.